Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning, and it's good for me to be with you. And especially as we hear news this morning from the Supreme Court, which guarantees the rights of non-discrimination in the workplace for LGBTQ persons. This is a huge victory, and one that we at St. Mark's celebrate, it, celebrate on behalf of our LGBTQ brothers and sisters. It's a reminder that still work needs to be done to guarantee the human rights of everyone in our community. But this is a breath of fresh air in a, a moment where many other issues of human rights are on the line. And it feels as though some significant change may happen. My apologies to those of you who tried to come onto the worship yesterday at the regular Sunday morning worship time and couldn't find it. We took down the original version of the worship and replaced it with a corrected version. So please do go back and check in on this week's worship. I found it a very powerful experience as I sat and watched. Please don't skip over this week. This week's worship includes uh, some voices you don't normally hear from. Firstly, our Board of Trustees Chair, Joanna Coker, appears giving a beautiful introduction of his oldest son, JJ who's in our confirmation class. And like all of the members of that class, they're simply waiting to be confirmed when we get back together. JJ then reads our scripture for us. And it's the letter from the, to the Corinthians talking about gifts of the Spirit. And later, JJ shares his own personal faith journey. It's truly inspiring. Please listen carefully to this young voice of St. Mark's. Another new voice is that of Pastor Gail Jack from St. Stephen of African Methodist Episcopal Church Zion in Del Paso Heights. Pastor Gail reads our, leads our community in prayer in a beautiful and faithful tone. It's really lovely. We've been having Thursday evening gatherings between St. Mark's members and St. Stephen members and it's been really a blessing, and, and I hope it leads to a long-standing relationship between St. Mark's and our sisters and brothers at St. Stephen. I hope those of you who joined in the gathering with our Jewish sisters and brothers from Mosaic Law Temple to hear Mayor Daryl Steinberg last th Thursday were as impressed as I was by the quality of what happened, by the Mayor's overall integrity and willingness to listen to his community please make sure that you have on your calendar this coming Saturday at five o'clock, we'll be having a memorial service for Shirley Reese. I'm surely, sure that Shirley is singing as she realizes that she's helping to break new ground as we have our first ever St. Mark's Zoom memorial service. I sense that for many people, you've reached the stage where you're saying, Oh, I've had enough of this shelter-in-place business. I need to just do something and break out. We feel as though our confinements have gone long enough. And yet the news today from Sacramento County is not good. With, there was a spike in new cases over the weekend. It's also reflected in new cases in Yolo, Placer, and El Dorado counties. Thanks be to God that our staying at home hasn't caused even more sickness and death. By staying at home, we have prevented that from happening. But it looks as though we have to keep doing that to make sure that we keep the numbers down. This is going to be at least medium haul and maybe long haul. I invite you, uh, as you wrestle with the need to stay sheltered, that you take inspiration from those great Christian martyrs over the years who have had to endure much more than this. I think of Nelson Mandela spending 27 years in prison waiting for the day uh, when he could serve his people. And he had to stay faithful and stay sane. I found a poem this week by Leslie Dwight, which I found very helpful, and I want to read it to you says this, what if 2020 isn't cancelled? What if 2020 
is the year we've been waiting for. A year so uncomfortable, so painful, so scary, so raw, that it finally forces us to grow. A year that screams so loud, finally awakening, awakening us from our ignorant slumber. A year we finally accept the need for change, declare change, work for change, become the change. A year we finally band together instead of pushing each other further apart. 2020 isn't cancelled, but rather it's the most important year of them all. Let's pray together. God, we pray that you will feed our souls in such a way that we can find our way through the weeks and months ahead as we wrestle with shelter in place and all the restrictions on our lives that are keeping us healthy. We pray for those who are working to heal and for those families impacted by the COVID-19 virus. And we give thanks today for the ruling of the Supreme Court and we pray as we prepare for Pride Week next week that our LGBTQ sisters and brothers may sense the, the power of this moment, uh, the, their dignity and their humanity is being affirmed and celebrated. And we pray that we may be parts of, part of those movements that bring healing and change so that every person in our community knows that they are loved and precious in God's sight. And so we pray for your blessing on each one of us this day. May we sense your nearness. May we sense your loving support for us. And may we sense your word of challenge to us, enabling us to grow and be the people you have called us to be. And so we pray for your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. May you have a blessed and beautiful day.